Inside is something you guys picked, and it is a very hot topic right now. Time for game recaps. The National Series last Friday, the Cubs won 8-6. Tommy LaSella and Anthony Rizzo homered. Ben Zobris homered twice. Saturday, the Cubs won 8-5. Chris Bryant homered. Sunday, they won 4-3 in the 13th inning. Javi Baez with a walk-off home run to end it. And the Padres Series Monday was postponed to Wednesday due to the rain. Tuesday they won 8-7, Addison Russell with a double and a triple, then Wednesday's double header, they lost both games. Game 1 was 4-7, Game 2 was 1-0. Then let's preview the weekend versus the Pirates. Today, Friday, it's Francisco Liriano, who is 3-1 versus Jason Hamill, who is 4-0. Saturday is Jeff Block, who is 1-2 versus Jake Arrieta, who is 6-0. Then Sunday is Garrett Cole, who is 3-3 versus John Lester, who is 4-1. Time for Cubs news. The All-Star game may seem like it's far away, but it's not too early to start voting. So make sure you're voting Cubs. If you want to see your favorite Cubs players get into the All-Star game, make sure you're voting at MLB.com every day, five times a day. And the Sports Illustrated this week has Javier Baez's walk-off Mother's Day home run. So make sure you pick up a copy. Jake Arrieta says he won't give the Cubs a hometown discount. Arietta isn't eligible for free agency just yet, but if he hits the open market, teams will come in droves to give him a big contract. The Cubs will likely be one of those teams, but Arietta isn't doing them any favors. Arietta addressed the idea of staying in Chicago for less with one word, no. And that brings us to our topic on Northside Inside. <laughs> This week, it's about Arietta and contract talks, which won 52% of the votes on Twitter. So, how do you feel about this? He's going to be a Cub no matter what he really is. They don't want to lose him, but the money has to be right. And Arietta thinks that he deserves a lot of money, which he does, but he's 30 years old. He wants a long-term deal. You just don't really... The Cubs don't want to issue out all that money. I mean, they have a lot of money invested in John Lester, a lot of money invested in Jason Hayward. You know, yeah, they want to lock down this all-star caliber pitcher, mm -hmm. but it comes with a price, and are the Cubs really willing to pay that price? Yeah, it's going to be exciting to see when he does hit free agency what's going to happen. I know a lot of teams will be interested in him, mm -hmm. but I think the Cubs will stay on it. And they'll work something out, I have a feeling. But who knows? Jay Arrieta might not be in Cubby Blue anymore after I, that. He will. He, he will. And I think that they're saying there's nothing going on right now with contract talks. But there are. And he, I mean, especially with what went down in Washington. Someone <laughs> is talking with Arietta right now about, you know, money and long-term deal, especially with his agent Scott Boris. He's gonna get Arietta paid, and Ari Boris is known for seven-year deals. Like, that's just who Boris is. So, can we see Arietta and Cubby Blue for seven more years? I don't know, I would love it. I would love it too, but, you know, it just has to be the right deal at the right time for both parties. Exactly. So let us know what you think on this topic. Go to our Twitter at Northside Manor and let us know, do you think we'll see Arietta in Cubby Blue still after he is free agency? For your around the league news this week, Max Scherzer tied the single game strikeout record on Wednesday night, fanning 20 Tiger batters in Washington's 3-2 win at Nationals Park. Bryce Harper was given a one-game suspension and an undisclosed fine for his action following the ninth inning ejection on Monday night. He has appealed. The MLB is looking into possible violations of international signing guidelines by the Red Sox. The investigation is focused on whether Boston acquired a player via package deals 
funneling funds through one trainer agent to acquire a number of amateur prospects and the international bonus pool regulations in the process. The transfer of signing bonus money from one player to another as part of a package deal is prohibited under MLB rules. Steven Strasburg is surprisingly skipping his first chance at a free agency. He agreed to a seven-year deal worth $175 million with the Nationals. It's Ben Zobris. He wins the first ever, I think, second week in a row player of the week. Why did you pick him? And I picked him because I saw this stat this week. When Zobris gets a hit, the Cubs are 19 and 1. How crazy is that? That's, that's awesome. That's a hashtag fire emoji. Line caught by Zobris. Double play. Here's your double play ball. <laughs> In the air, and Hamilton, are you kidding me? Kicks the pole, Barney on his way to second. Pole's throw is on the money, and he got him again. I was blown away by Ender Inciarte's play this week. Take a look at this amazing double play. In the air to center. Inciarte, he's got it. He tries to deke the runner. The throw is going to beat it. How about the footwork by Craig Freeman? That was a great job by Inciarte to lure him a little bit. Bonds to. Today. The Diamondbacks. Coggin runs on the 3-2 and a fly ball hit to deep left. Bradley looks up. That ball is gone. A home run. You guys voted and we listened. Here is your home run of the week. And the honors go to Javier Baez, Mother's Day walk-off home run. In case you forgot about it, take a look. Before we end the episode, we just want to make sure you go to bygonebrand.com, get yourself a t-shirt, use promo code Northside Manor, no spaces, and you get 10% off your order. And with Bygone Brand comes our Northside Manor t-shirt. We have very few t-shirts left, so if you are interested, please email us, drop a comment on Facebook, tweet us, DM us, post something on Instagram, tag us, whatever you have to do. If you're interested in a shirt, we will get you guys one. They're only $15 and they are going fast. So please help us get rid of these <laughs> amazing shirts. We want everyone to support Northside Manor and Bygone Brand. Yeah, especially if you live in like Alaska, we'd love for someone yes. in Alaska to be supporting <laughs> Northside Manor. But also don't forget to send in questions for Connor. We do these Northside mailbags and they've been really good these past couple weeks. So we're going to try them to do them every other week. So make sure if you have any Cubs related questions, big or small, it doesn't matter. Send them in to us via Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Let us know and we'll get them in the counter. And that's going to do it for us on this episode of Northside Manor. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Mike. I'm Gabrielle. And go Cubs.